tie alone. Yeah, I turn it on with kids to tie. Oh, yeah, I turn it on with hammer and work on. Yeah, I turn it you play shit, man. Welcome back to Flagship, and just now you got to see a little bit about Rowan Keating the last time he was in Bangkok. Sadly, I got to miss that, but you know what the great thing about Flagship is we always get to catch up on the cool stuff, and sometimes we even get to see a little bit behind the scenes, right, Ben? Yeah, we do, and, and now we have uh, the creative director of Bad Supper Club, Kun Sanya Suwanapuma, with us. Swadi so 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 um, you've heard about Rowan Keating. Uh, I hope you don't play that kind of music in your club, do you? Um, not really, no. no. <laughs> so, There's... what kind of music do you do you like listen to? Personally, me. Yeah, personally, yeah. Um, I like jazz. Oh, Herbie jazz Hancock. Man. Oh right. You know. So, so what do you like? I like a lot of different music. It all depends on my mood. But jazz is a really great place. Do you know? Do you go to other places outside of where you work? In terms to get music like jazz, or do you hold a lot of jazz? Yes, nights? I do actually. I I go to the the Iron Ferries. You know, oh, that's Paris. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever hold a jazz night here? Uh, we had a few jazz nights here. Yes. yes. Oh, right. And, um, we had one of the best jazz drummers, Billy Cobham. What? A jazz drummer? Yes. They have drums and jazz. Okay. Oh, uh, well. Well, you know, you know how they said the movies tell about your, the character of a person. Mm. What kind of movies do you like? Um, I like uh, European uh, cinema. Cinema. Yeah. European cinema, as in like. Polish cinema or yeah, Italian, like Fellini. Oh. Well, let me guess. I think you're kind of a romantic person. Rom romantic comedy, do you like? Um, sometimes, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I find that European movies are quite different. They seem to have like a more darker edge. Is that? Yeah, well, there, there's less um, explosions and less uh, car chases. Hmm. Um, so I think there's more dialogues. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well. Um, well, if you like romantic comedy, I'm just wondering. Uh, if you got a date, are, are you kind of a Roman romantic person? What would you well, do on a date? Yeah, what would you do on a date? Well, well, if you have to take Sarah out for a date, what would you do? Go to a restaurant. Oh, right. Food? Actually, yeah, I mean, discussion. 
you know. She likes some tam. Would you take it? <laughs> would you take it like down the alley, down the, down the street, street food? Well, if that's, that's, if that's what you like. <laughs> would you choose for the girl or should... So I you, would choose for the girl, yeah. Because if you choose for the girl, then she lady, gets to yeah. know for you. Gets to know you that way. Actually, I have a, I have a message from my lady. I'll take her to a special place. Ooh! Yeah. Whoa! By the river. Lucky girls out there. Right. right, just one. Oh, lucky, yeah, a lucky yeah. girl out there. I'm sorry. So, I'm sorry. Bang needs to work on his pronunciation. Yeah, I know. He's having a little trouble. Yeah, when I'm with these people, they always put like you know have a, a many friends. That they have, so. We have friends. Okay, so one girl. um, yeah. <laughs> Can you tell us about yourself that we don't know about you? Well, I draw a lot. Oh, I'm a drawer, yes. Oh, really? Yeah. You're a painter. Uh, not really a painter, but just I do drawing. Oh, that's very interesting. interesting. So you like jazz. You like romantic comedy? Well, you can watch a romantic comedy. I can watch a romantic you can take, I, like, I like European movies. Euro, European, European movies, European sorry. Cinema. And you take her on a date, very special place. Um, and also, you you can draw. I heard you also take photos, too. I so, do, yes. I do. So is that different, taking photos, drawing? No, it's the same thing. It's composition. It's the same uh, composition. Okay. So where do you get your inspiration from? Magazines, I mean, uh, books. Uh, Helmut Newton. A good photographer that I like. Vanity Fair, good magazine. That photography. Is a very good magazine. Yeah. So, do you mostly take portraits or landscape or just a bit uh, of both? Portraits. Yeah. Portraits. portraits? Yeah. So, well, but in Thailand, obviously, there, there are like quite a lot of places you can go. Bangkok, isn't it? You find it exciting? I mean, a good, a good place to work here in Bangkok, or not as good as in Europe. Oh, Bangkok has more opportunities, definitely. Yeah, yeah isn't it? For like, you know, for your, for your work. Right, um, well, can you tell us a little bit about yourself when you were like, you know? Younger. Growing up, yeah, younger, growing up. Oh, I was uh, always the, the, the artistic type, you yeah, know, always. Oh. And um, I, I wish I did, uh, I studied art more. Uh, oh, right. Yeah. So what did you study? I studied business. Oh, oh it's was very different. <laughs> is, is it because of... Um, until yeah. now, until now, yeah. Until now. Well, people always think that business is very important to learn. Did you do you think it's something that is necessary to study? I think I think my parents wanted wanted me to do this, and and I could not really do what I liked. I think I think if I have an advice for all the parents, is uh, let your let your yeah. children do what they like. I just have to ask, how did you get into the club business? I got into the club business because uh, of meeting people who you know. Um, Finally, you meet someone who wants to do the same thing as you, and you, you partner together and you create a club. Is this something you thought you would always do? Maybe, yeah, maybe. I didn't, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. So, so it's just one of those things you fell into. So an accident, yes. It was an accident, yeah. a happy accident. A happy accident. <laughs> I changed my country. How? Like life scene, yes. How, like, well, to be the owner of the club is an accident. It's. It's a business opportunity, obviously. Did you see a big future before you, you know, start up the, pro the, the project? Was it, was, it like, was it this? Was the first idea? Or um, yes, it was, it was. But we worked so hard that we didn't really think too much of uh, where we were going. It was, you know, we had to create something new, you know, oh, every, so, so you every week, for... every month. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, now we, well, we touched a little bit on about Bad Supper Club. Right, mm. but after the next segment, well, we will learn more about this club and also why your future lies, you know, after this place had to close down, sadly, with Pete and Barbara. So, see you after the break, guys. Great. We've got more of Sanya in the flagship hot seat up next. This time, it's with Art and Barbara as he reveals the reason behind the closure. It's a bit more complicated okay. than that. It's, um, it's a particular deal that we had with the owner, and uh, let's say that uh, he decided to, he wanted to make something else with the land. 